So let me go on with some simple questions I do for MC1. So this, everyone, I ask you to focus. Right now, I'm going to ask you to give me the answer, okay? So question number one, this is MC1 question, okay? Question number one, I have, <laughs> okay, some people are really smart, okay? What is the next item in this sequence? O-T-T-F-F-S-S-E-N. All right, so you answer, everybody answer is T. So you recognize this is the first letter of the, the, the numbers. Okay, one, two, three, four. Wow, okay, so let's go on to this one. What is the next item for the part B? 4, 8, 61, 221, 244, 884. Pattern recognition is very important. Okay, Jen Shi is answering, wow, okay. Double the number and reverse it. We have a lot of smart people here. So, okay, very nice, very nice. You double the previous uh, uh, previous number and reverse the order. Okay, reverse the order of every number. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. Wow. You guys so fast. I have to. I have to slow down. I have to slow down, so otherwise I will get overwhelmed by you guys. Now, the question number two, chicken and the bunnies, chicken rabbit problem, okay? Chicken rabbit problem. There are 40 heads and 100 legs. How many chicken are there? How about bunnies? Okay, 30 and 10, 30 and 10. Well, this time, I'm going to ask one of you to explain, okay? Uh, just for this time, I uh, I cannot have time to to do everything, so uh, I just for one time. So you 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 see how this works, okay? So uh, let's see. Okay, Grace. So under the name of Grace, you I know you are a boy, right? You are a boy using your mom's uh, uh, account. So everybody else, keep quiet and let him answer. Okay, let him answer. You use system equations. Okay, system equations. And uh, can you type out the, the equations? So, Hua Jie's question, we assume none of the chickens or bunny have missing parts, right? That's right. Okay, we assume all are normal. So, okay, so you use system equations. Then you solve the equations. Well, uh, let's see, can we do it, can anyone do it without using equations, just by looking at the numbers, without using equations? Okay, Andrew, Andrew, go ahead, Andrew, explain. So, only for this question, okay, every other question I will not ask uh, people to answer because, uh, I will not ask people to explain because we don't have much time. So, Andrew, John, please explain. Let's assume all of the chickens, okay? So all of the chickens, then what about the, uh, there will be 80 legs, okay? All right, so then what happens if we're, we don't have 80 legs, we have 100, there are 100 legs. So there are 20 extra legs. So what do, you, uh, what do those 20 legs mean? The bunny has have four legs, and then what? Then what, what do we do? How do we figure it out? Right, so add two legs for every bunny, so 20 more legs we need, and then we need, no, we need 20 over two, no, not 10 legs, 10 bunnies, 10 bunnies. Okay, very good, okay, very good, Andrew. That's a very good answer. All right, so, okay, okay, very good, okay, so let me give everyone a different answer, okay, because I ask students who give answers, they come up with creative ways to solve the problem, so this one, you, you can definitely use uh, uh, algebra to solve it, 
is system equations. But in the in in terms of these kind of questions, I do encourage everyone not to use system equations. So people come up with this kind of answer. Okay, everyone, uh, everyone, uh, uh, quiet and listen. Okay. So suppose these chickens and bunnies are trained. They have some special abilities. And you are the owner. You come in and uh, you blow a whistle. When you blow a whistle, every animal will raise a leg. Okay, chicken raise one leg, so stand on one leg. And bunnies will raise one leg, so um, stand on three legs. So that means 40 legs are raised. That There are only 60 legs on the floor. Okay, so now 60 legs. I'm going to write down. Okay, blow, um, blow a whistle. Now it's uh, 100 minus 40 becomes 60 legs. 60 legs on the floor. Now the next, you blow a whistle again. So this time the chicken raised another leg, then they have to sit on the floor. And the bunnies raise another leg, they have to stand up. Okay, so now you have 20 legs. Now the 20 legs all belong to bunnies, the rabbits. Okay, only the rabbits, the only the rabbits have the legs on the floor. So every rabbit has two legs. So that means 10 bunnies. And then with that, you know that the remaining 30 have to be chicken. Okay? All right, so that's that's a, it is creative, okay? And there are more ways to explain it, okay? You can be creative yourself. You can be very, very creative, all right? Okay, so let's move on with the next question.